So, man, let's see. It was probably about a year and a half ago. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine, Andre Berry, who's a great bass player, um, and he said, I'd like you to, re uh, to meet some friends of mine, and uh, they really want to just kind of meet you. And I said, well, man, my schedule's crazy, but I will be in Japan. And maybe, you know, if they're willing to come to Japan, maybe we can meet, and that's what happened. I went to uh, meet these guys, and there was no pre-planned uh, uh, thing. We were just gonna kind of hang out, and we had a nice uh, uh, lunch, and they were saying that they were really interested in making quality instruments, and they really felt like they had the facilities and the knowledge to make an instrument that wasn't so expensive, but was a good quality instrument. And that was really interesting to me. Nowadays, man, it's so important <laughs> to put instruments in young people's hands. You know, with all the, the other options that young people have, man, they can, they can end up playing video games, you know, they can do so many things, and we're losing um, our appreciation for music in the young generation because they're not playing instruments. So it's really important, you know, that we get instruments in their hands and show them how cool it is, how satisfying it is to be able to make music with an instrument. And if we can get them a quality instrument, I thought that'd be really cool. So we decided to continue to talk. You know, Kyle was so cool, man, the president of the company. He's like really intensely committed to making quality instruments. And I was very much impressed by his commitment. So I said, okay, let's see. And he sent me an instrument, you know, after a few months. And the instrument was a really good quality instrument. And he said, look, I want you to give me your input. We want to go back and forth. So that's what we did. You know, I gave him my comments and, and uh, it was really important that it was something that I could have confidence in because I put my name on it, you know. And, uh, but the Sire company was really, really committed to coming up with something good, you know. And you can get in the game now. You can start playing funky bass lines like, you know, without having to uh, convince your parents to sell their car, right? <laughs> So it's very nice and I'm really excited. It's the future, you know what I mean? The, the technology, all the knowledge that people have now, it's possible to make great instruments that don't cost so much, you know? So I'm, I'm very excited, man. I'm very uh, pleased with the instrument and I uh, can't wait. I wish I had an amp here so I could plug it in and blow up the camera. But uh, soon enough I'll make a video and we can hear what it sounds like, but it, uh, I'm very excited. And you know, they're committed to, to create an instrument that I can put my name on, you know, that passes my quality control. You know, uh, I got it back, I asked them to make an adjustment on the nut here, an adjustment on the bridge, on the preamp. It was really important that I had a sweepable mid-range and I could control the mid-range because I think that's something that really can help um, uh, bass players, that mid-range. And a lot of them don't really know how to use it, especially the young guys, and I will eventually do a video that shows them exactly how to use this mid-range. You know, a lot of um, bass makers, they try to make it really, really simple because they figure it will confuse young players. But uh, I don't want to uh, underestimate young people. I'll show them how to do it and I'm sure they'll get it. It's not that, it's not that complicated. So, uh, but to put my name on it, you know, I really want to make sure it's right. And so uh, we have a great instrument here, man, and uh, it's a, uh, it's something that I have no problem saying yes, get this instrument, you know, or telling, you know, because I'm always having young mothers or, you know, fathers saying, my, 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 my son or my daughter wants to start playing bass, what bass should, should they get, you know, so now I can go, here you go, you know, and tell your son to call me in, in three years when he's, when he's killing, when he's killing bass playing. really excited man the instruments are really high quality and you know young people who want to start they're gonna have options because it's not just one signature basis and depending on what kind of style you like you know I can recommend you try this bass or that bass depending on what you like you know and, and uh, it's really cool you know and it's really something that I've been wanting to do for a long time uh, get get people in the game you know have these kids learning their bass lines man it's gonna be really exciting